Okay, so I'm just going to film how I blow dry my hair to give myself like that salon blown out 90s bouncy kind of blow dry. Um, you don't really need anything, you just need a hairdryer, a big round brush and some heat protection um, and whatever like other styling products you would usually put in your hair but you don't need them for this necessarily. Um, so yeah, just start with my heat protection which is running out. Oh, that was my eye. This is the Redken 25 Benefits. I thought my boyfriend was going to come in the room here. Um, heat protection, obviously it's called 25 Benefits because it does more than that, but that's like what I use it for. I use a lot of it, hence why it's running out. Um, and then I'm just gonna blow dry my hair until it's like 70 to 80 percent dry, not too dry, because then by the time I've blown the rest, like the first bits, the rest of it's dry. So I don't want it to be too dry, but also dry enough that the blow dry is not going to take me years. I washed my hair and then I had dinner, so it's already kind of dried a little bit. So I'm just gonna dry it a bit more, and also dry your hair upside down for like optimum volume, you know? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now my hair is like about as dry as I want it um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start at the back of my head um, because I'm not gonna be clipping these I'm not gonna be pinning the, the curls into place because I don't want it to be like really super curly I just want a bit of bounce um, so I find it's just easier to start at the back of my head and also if I start at the front of my head by the time I finish the front I'm like oh that'll do who cares about the back and then I leave the back <laughs> every time so I'm not gonna do that um, yeah, so I'm just going to clip like from my crown to behind my ears. That's pretty. And then split the hair at the back in half as well. Um, and basically just like starting from the bottom, I'm just going to start curling my hair backwards. So I'm just going to start like drying my hair backwards, but also like with a bit of lift at the root. Anyway, yeah, so that's what I do. I'm gonna take a section bigger than that, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so my roots are basically already dry because I dried my hair upside down. So now I can just focus on drying the ends. Um, so like before I start, because you won't be able to hear anything, what I like to do is I put the brush in and then roll it backwards a little bit already just so that I like, immediately have the tension. And then I start drying the midsection first. And I really like, don't skip over the midsection like really go like back and forth with the hair dryer like you want that section to be dry as much as you want the very ends to be dry and then just twist keep doing this twist twist bring it all the way back up wait for it to cool down and then when you pull it out you want to like twist it backwards in the direction that you want the curl to be so yes drop more like that's more curly than I want it but that's why I'm not pinning it right here um, kind of like behind <clears throat> behind my ear I like to curl this section towards my face um, because when it's sitting down here I like these parts to curl towards me and these to curl away from me and they kind of sit over each other and it makes it look a little bit less like structured and um, yeah like uniform I guess <laughs>
exactly the same thing to the other side. doing the front row onto it so I'm gonna start with this section here um, so I'm gonna go in like this oh yes yeah, so I'm gonna let that cool down I'm kind of gonna be like pushing it out while I'm while it's cooling because I don't want this to be too tight, as I said. And then, yeah, just twist it out forwards. Beautiful. And I'll do the same, and then I'll show you what I do. <laughs> then I'm gonna start at the back. I'm gonna curl this section backwards. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing on this side. Final section. <sighs> My arm is literally dead. Just spray it with hairspray. Yeah, like not loads because I don't like it to be too crunchy. Um, and then sometimes what I'll do as well is I'll just immediately go with some dry shampoo because it kind of prevents your hair from getting greasy as well. Um, and then I feel like the less moisture you have at your roots, the longer it takes to get flat I feel like as soon as it goes greasy obviously it all just drops so some dry shampoo like it's good for volume but yeah 
and that is basically it.